Welcome to the upload. Everybody's talking about the pistol brace rule. I'm talking about the pistol brace rule. Let's talk about the three reasons why the pistol brace rule is about to get shut down. If you support the second amendment, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button so we can get this video jumping into the algorithm. So what I'm about to tell you in this video is proof that the pistol brace rule is about to get shut down. Now, make sure you stay to the end because the very last and most important topic that I'm gonna tell y'all is at the end of the video. So let's get to it. One of the number one reasons that the pistol brace rule is about to get shut down is because of the lack of clarity. They're not telling us enough and they've not shown us enough. So right now the House of Representatives are calling the ATF in to explain the reason they went back and forth, the reason why they're trying to make millions of citizens felons overnight. Ridiculous. And that's why I'm glad that they're going up in front of the House. The pistol brace rule is facing criticism for its lack of clarity and specificity. The rule uses vague language and subjective criteria to determine whether the brace is legal or not. This makes it difficult for gun owners and manufacturers alike to understand what is allowed and what is not allowed, leading to confusion and potential non-compliance. And that's not even on purpose. That's, that's just people not understanding what's going on with your rule. That's all that is. So that right there tells us when they get in front of Jim Jordan and Thomas Massey, they are going to have to explain all of this shenanigans and all of this slick stuff trying to make Americans felons overnight. That right there was pretty much the lowest blow that they could have done. And I mean, I don't know what Joe Biden wants Americans to think of him as a president. It's my attorney general to take every lawful action possible, possible to move us as close as we can to universal background checks without new legislation. Okay, this just isn't, isn't just the DOJ. I want you to understand that this gives a lot of power to other federal agencies as well. Well, obviously, he does not give a shit what we think about him as a president just for pulling those type of moves. When it's all said and done, all Joe Biden did was try to take firearms away from the good American people. The lack of clarity is what's going to shut that down. And if it's not the lack of clarity, number two, legal challenges. It's a lot going on with the ATF and they have their hands full with so many cases that they could cave in here really soon. So the legal challenges that the ATF faces. So let's just listen to this. The ATF pistol brace rule is already facing legal challenges from gun rights groups and firearms manufacturers. These groups argue that the rule is arbitrary and capricious and violates the Second Amendment. If these legal challenges are successful, the rule could be struck down or significantly revised. Um, I like significantly revised, but I really wanted to get struck down. Hit the like button right now. If you rather it get struck down, then significantly revised. Hit that like button right now. I mean, they're facing so many challenges. We got the case with the Second Amendment Foundation. We got the case with the FPC. We got the case with, with Texas, and, and, and there's a few more plaintiffs on that. We got the case with the 25 states. There's so many cases going on, I can't even keep up with it in my head. Help me out in the comments. Go ahead and drop some of those cases that I may have forgot. Legally, they really don't have any answers. Legally, what they really did is they bleeped themselves. That's what they did. They bleeped themselves. I'm sorry that we had to go through this, but people do what they can do just because they can do it, and that's good enough to annoy the other side. So that is one of the reasons that it's going to get shut down. It's too many legal cases going on, and they're losing them. And so when you compare the Cargill case and the Vanderstock case, and then this case right here, which is, I believe, Mock v. Garland. So all of these cases are... They're going one way. Y'all remember I made a video way back and I said that this is probably how it's gonna go. So legal issues are going to really, really be an obstacle for the ATF. They cannot stand all of this legal pressure that's being put on them right now. I don't believe they've ever been sued this many times, this much at one time. So right now, if you support the Second Amendment and you think the pistol brace rule is about to get shut down because it's unconstitutional, go ahead and hit that like button right now. We're going to move on to the third reason why the pistol brace rule is definitely going to get shut down. Enforcement challenges is another reason that the pistol brace rule is likely to get shut down. Just be real here, man. The reason why it's going to be enforcement issues is because state officials, sheriffs have already declared that they are not going to be enforcing this rule. So that is where you're going to have enforcement issues at. How can you enforce the rule when state officials and high-ranking officials in state jurisdictions have already declared that they are not going to be enforcing this law in their jurisdiction. So that's one of the main things. There have been plenty of state officials from multiple states saying that this will not be happening in their state jurisdiction. So 
I don't know how you're going to enforce it. The pistol brace rule will be difficult to enforce as it relies on self-reporting subjective determinations. There are millions of pistol braces in circulation and it will be challenging for the ATF to track and monitor compliance. This could lead to a lack of enforcement and inconsistent application of the rule, further eroding its effectiveness. So even if some kind of way it slipped through and got through the cracks, it will be very, very hard to enforce and therefore it's really no need for it. And just then, I have a bonus reason why the pistol brace rule is going to get shut down. So y'all just sit tight. Let's get right back to it. The very last reason that this pistol brace rule is about to get shut down is the common use argument. These pistol braces are in common use. 40 to 100 million estimated, even though the ATF estimated 7 million, which is like a fraction of a fraction of how many are actually out in the public. 40 to 100 million and that could be short estimated 40 to 100 million the common use argument which suggests that the use of the pistol brace is widespread therefore protected under the second amendment is a potential challenge to the atf pistol brace rule okay statistics show that millions of americans own firearms equipped with pistol stabilizing braces indicating that they are commonly used and popular the argument has been used successfully in other Second Amendment cases and could be used to challenge the ATF in court. <laughs> That's the game changer right there. Common use. That probably is a bigger reason than every reason that I've given you. But that's just like a follow-up just in case you think any of those first three reasons is not good enough, which I believe they all are. But the common use argument is really what's going to knock it out the box. I mean, you got preliminary injunctions that are about to happen. They're in, in the Second Amendment's favor, so just be at ease of mind knowing that the second amendment right now is about to pop, 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 12th round knockout and so that is the three reasons that the pistol brace rule is about to get shut all the way down i'm glad y'all stayed to the end of the video because y'all are definitely impacting my channel my channel is growing and i truly appreciate that y'all are affecting the channel more than you probably even know but when y'all hitting like y'all sharing and y'all are making human responses to show the algorithm or to show YouTube that y'all have value in my videos or y'all have value in the content that we're uploading, then they reward us by sending it out to more people. So I truly appreciate that. Thank y'all. I'm coming back with more info on the next video. Y'all already know what it is. Those that stay ready ain't got to get ready. And we out of here.